Hi, we're Steve and Denise of Van Life Midlife Rocks. We've road tripped across North America in our customized road trek camper van exploring Canada and the US. We would love to bring you along on our upcoming adventures and discovery of exciting new places. Hello, we are off to Port Alberni to go to Sprout Lake Provincial Park. It's about 45 minutes or an hour away from here in Lanceville and it's got a gorgeous big lake and we are so looking forward to escaping this heat. Y'all ready? You bet, let's go. All right, we're in Port Alberni. That was about a 45 minute drive. So Port Alberni is the gateway to the, the West Coast. People drive through here to get to Tofino and you Hewlett and they come here to do fishing and camping. So Sprout Lake Provincial Campground consists of two separate camp campgrounds, an upper and a lower. The lower campground has about 15, I think, sites and the upper has 45. We're staying in the upper and you have to walk about 800 meters to get to the beach, which is about a 10 minute walk and it's trailed and there's a really neat tunnel that goes under the road. At first we were a little disappointed that we weren't on the lake side, but honestly, this place is so popular and so wonderful. I think either side is great just to be here and enjoy this warm, warm lake. Hey there, we are in the uh, parking lot for the day use area at Sprout Lake Provincial Park. Look, it's quite empty today, yay, because it's Monday morning. I was here yesterday wandering around assessing the situation on a Sunday and this place was jam-packed. There's our inflatable kayak ready to be carried down to the beach. So we're finally in the water. There's Denise sitting up front. She's ready to paddle. <laughs> Hello. And spinning around, there's me in the stern with the beach behind me. And last night, Denise and I, we made a decision to go to bed early so that we could be up early and on the water by eight o'clock. <laughs> so now, I don't know if you can see my watch. It's quarter after 10, right on schedule. We're just trying to get in a little closer to um, one of the water bombers that's um, currently having some work done to it. It's surprising that it needs to have work done to them when they're only like 80 years old. <laughs> but I guess they just don't make stuff like they used to. Coming to view is the Martin Mars water bombers. I don't think they see active service any more impressive piece of machinery. Denise is navigating us through the <laughs> drawbridge. Oh Jesus, that's going to leave a mark. These people have all the toys. They have a sea doo and a sailboat wow. and a fishing boat and a ski boat. <laughs> These people are living the dream. Yep. But are they getting exercise like we are paddling around um, on our aqua glide? But are you getting any exercise? Well, I think that was a hint. I better put the camera away now. Hey, buddy.
All right, we are ashore and this is quite a special spot. I'll show you. There's the lake. You can see our kayak peeking through this pine tree and our little beach. And there's speed. We have a kayak too, so we like, we don't, I've tried stand up paddle warning, but it seems like too much work. Yeah, totally. <laughs> and you can't really enjoy your beverages. No. I just gotta figure out how to put a little cup holder. <laughs> there, now you're talking. I'm Duncan. Uh, we're not in Duncan, we're in Port Alberni. Ha ha ha. It's so warm, like Hawaii. That was one fun day at the beach. Steve has taken the van back to our campsite in the upper campground and I'm going to show you the path that you would take if you were going to walk there. So check this out. I'm grateful for the shade. Once you're away from that lake, it's very warm here. That cool tree. Here's the tunnel I was telling you about. Isn't that neat? <laughs> my feet are squeaking from uh, being wet. I've got my beach shoes on still. That is pretty cool. So we are now going under the road. at number six. This is a nice spot. Uh, you beat me. So after a very full day of fun on the lake, um, we are back at the campsite and it's time for dinner. So tonight we are having vegan sausages that are made by a company in Victoria that were featured on Dragon's Den. Denise. She's tuckered out from all that paddling today. But it's a good tired. It's a very good tired. So Denise is heading off on a solo expedition. Okay, drifting back to shore. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. See you later. That's hilarious. Now I'm sitting in literally a cloud of blue exhaust smoke. I think I'm going to wrap it up. Denise is out on the water and I'm walking down this path here that leads to quite a few little kind of secret beaches that people go to to avoid the main beach. There she is there. She's looking strong out there. She loves that kayak. And it's really been a wonderful addition for us. We, uh, we are enjoying it more and more. It's a bit of a hassle to get the kayak on and off 
um, the van because it's we store it as you know in the in the box on the roof rack um, because there's not really any place to store it in the van and but you know what it's it's not that bad it doesn't take very long to get it off there and and, um, and really it's getting faster and faster to, to set it up the more we do it we're loving it gotta say we are loving it all right i'm waiting here for denise i see her coming but what an incredible view there's a couple in a canoe out there and in front of them is the um water bomber and then in the distance is mount klitza with its snowy peaks spectacular lake i think that this is just just about as good as anything the okanagan has to offer to be quite honest with you The sh <laughs> All right. You have a great paddle. Thank you. Talk to you soon. Bye. See lots of these wicked camper vans around. Pretty good marketing. This is a great sticker. See lots of these vans out there though, so somebody's making money renting these. They're pretty awesome. This is the last of the smoked salmon that we picked up on our way through Port Alberni. Bought it from a, a local lady um, just outside of town there, and it's super delicious. In fact, I'm surprised that it's lasted, what, um, two, two and a half days that we've been here. Um, it's really good. And we also, we also grabbed some uh, Okanagan cherries at the same time. Look at those beautiful black beauties. They're awesome delicious as well. I think somebody else is pretty interested in the smoked salmon too. <laughs> oh.